Welcome everyone. We're looking today at creating a find the hotspot activity using H5P on WordPress. And this is an example of what you can make. You can make something like this with the instructions. Click on the hotter object or click on the one that is hotter. And I have two objects. I have two hotspots, one on the moon, one on the sun. So if I click on the moon, which is the wrong answer, I will get a prompt telling me to think again. So I'll try again. Click on the sun. I got it correct. That is basically it. If I click anywhere else but the object, I will get a prompt telling me to select one of the objects. Let's take a look at how to create this simple activity on H5P or using H5P on WordPress. Let's get started creating a find the hotspot activity using H5P on WordPress. So the first thing you want to do is go to your H5P plugin and click on add new. And you want to find the module that's called find the hotspot. It's the first one here for me. If you don't have it installed, make sure you click on get to install it. And then you click on the module to create a new activity. We'll give this a title, find the hotspot. And we'll go down to the next part. There aren't too many things to do here. This is a simple activity. So first you add a background image. And this is the main image that you will use. So I've got a simple image here. Let me upload my image. As you can see here, I've got an image of the sun and the moon. Edit image doesn't really do anything. So that's it for the first step. The next step is to create the hotspots on the image. So you can either click on step two or click on the next step. They'll take you to the same place. Then we have to give the task. So we have our image here. So the task that we want is a very simple one click on the one click on the one that is hotter so you have the moon and the sun and the instruction is to click on the one that is hotter right now this is just an image so what we need to do is we need to add hotspots and right here you've got circle and a square two types of hotspots we're not using squares we're using circles so click on add a hotspot and the first thing it's asking is this the correct answer sure this is the correct answer and the feedback that the user will get if they do click on the correct answer great you got it done so you see this is our hotspot here and we'll put it over the correct answer and since the sun is the correct answer we'll put it over the sun so if you go on edit you will get the same thing there aren't too many things to be done here send it back put it forward that doesn't do anything unless it's interacting with other hotspots. We'll leave that as it is. We'll add another hotspot for the moon. This one is not correct. So we'll click not correct. And the feedback, think again, think again.
put that over the moon so now we have two hotspots you can have multiple correct uh, multiple correct answers so you can potentially have say 20 things or 20 items and four of them are correct and the rest are not correct and you can tell the user to select all the correct ones so there can be multiple correct hotspots however the user gets correct incorrect feedback immediately after the first click so this is also the the drawback of this so if you assign four items as correct out of 20 as soon as the user clicks on the first correct item they will get the feedback they cannot click on anything after that so basically they will only get one click the user will only get one click it doesn't matter how many correct answers you assign only one of them will be counted only the first click will be counted so if assigned correct answer incorrect answer but also if the user clicks outside of the designated areas or the hotspots they will get feedback as well so this is the feedback if the user selects an empty spot a spot where there is no hotspot we'll just say do you need glasses click on one of the objects show feedback as a pop-up that way if a user clicks in the middle of the screen here the answer will pop up where he clicked rather than at the bottom of the activity so show feedback as a pop-up is very helpful because sometimes it's not easy to notice the feedback at the bottom and students or users might get confused so we'll leave that checked for the retry you cannot turn it off but you can change the text basically like the text overrides and the text override you're just replacing the default text to something else we don't want to change that that is basically it let's we don't want to see any tools at the bottom of our activity let's create this and see what it looks like create and you see this here the instructions click on the one that is hotter so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click somewhere that doesn't have a hotspot click in the middle here and it tells me do you need glasses click on one of the objects so I have to retry see after the first click you get the answer and then you can't do anything you can't click anywhere until you retry so I get to retry let's click on the moon and it says think again I can't click anywhere I have to retry last one we click on the correct answer and I get one out of one and it says great you got it let's take this and put it on the front end let's put it on our website so we can put it either in the post or on a page so we take the short code we copy it from here and we add add a new post okay let's give this a name so it's number 11 and it is find the hotspot and we want to add a short code a short code block so we can put our short code in there and that is basically it we publish our post and we view our post and we see our activity here click on the hotter object click 
So we see the answer pops up because we selected the answer as a pop-up. Had we not selected that option, then you would get the answer down here. I think this looks better. This is a very limited activity. The user only gets one click and then they'll get either right or wrong. You cannot, you cannot ask more than one question. There is another activity called find multiple hotspots where it is more complicated and you can actually have multiple hotspots, multiple answers. It works better depending really on what you want to do with it. But for this one, that is it. You can add this to a question set or an interactive workbook if you just want it to have something very simple. Otherwise, the way we created it is just this one question on its own. All right. Thank you.